Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for the organizer to provide us with this opportunity uh, to introduce our recombinant antibody production platform uh, in this conference. Uh, my name is Yuning Chen. Uh, I'm currently uh, our research and development manager here at Sinobiological. And just to give a quick company pre uh, overview, Sino is a, a biotech company uh, that was established in 2007. And our headquarter is located in Beijing. And we have several offices in mainland China area, uh, as well as uh, offices in both um, uh, Pen uh, in the Pennsylvania region of the United States, as well as in the Frankfurt region of Germany, uh, which conducts our global business. Um, our company was uh, established based on the recombinant expression technology, and currently we have uh, over 500 employees and. Uh, uh, our facility has been uh, is expanding and has also been certified by uh, various international as well as uh, domestic organizations. Uh, our core business uh, includes the uh, development of uh, reagents for life science researchers, including uh, recombinant proteins, antibodies, and DNA clones, ELISA kits, and so on. And also another part, big part of our uh, core business involves uh, the customer services uh, to use our recombinant uh, expression platform to uh, and the antibody uh, development platform uh, to create recombinant proteins and uh, antibodies for uh, various clients. Uh, now I would like to uh, devote the rest of my talk, um, <clears throat> mainly focus on uh, recombinant antibody uh, expression platforms. So um, recombinant antibodies actually comes in different uh, shapes and sizes. Uh, the, the, the key region of an antibody is this variable region, uh, which dictates the uh, <clears throat> interaction between the antibody and the antigen. And uh, the sequence of this variable region can be derived from uh, different sources. So if you have a hybridoma, uh, this, uh, the, ver the sequence of the variable region can be derived uh, via the mRNA extraction and the next-gen sequencing. Uh, however, if you have a, <clears throat> a library-based screening methods, uh, these uh, sequences are, are usually uh, directly derived from, uh, uh, from different types of uh, you know, panning process. But the bottom line is once we have this uh, variable region sequence at, uh, in hand, um, we can do a lot of uh, we can do a lot of things with these sequences. We can make a either full length antibodies uh, in these uh, shapes and uh, uh, shapes and formats, or as uh, or we can um, make fragment antibodies, including Fab SCFB, uh, to miniaturize the size of the antibody, or we can make chimeric antibodies or antibody fusion proteins um, that combines the uh, functionality of different molecules as well as uh, by specific antibodies, which uh, take advantage of the uh, antigen binding capacity of two different antibodies and combine them together uh, to achieve this uh, essentially one plus one larger than two uh, functionality. So here at Sino, uh, because we uh, were established based on our recombinant um, expression technology technological platform, so we have uh, Quite some experience in terms of uh, uh, express, expressing antibodies uh, from uh, from different sources and of different formats. So here I would like to uh, talk a little bit about several uh, interesting platforms that we have, uh, uh, so uh, so that uh, you hopefully you might find them uh, interesting and helpful uh, to your research or you know other related work. Uh, so first of all, we, I would like to uh, spend a few minutes uh, to talk about our uh, bispecific antibody uh, platform. Uh, so so uh, well, bispecific antibodies are uh, essentially a uh, crown jewel of you know protein and antibody engineering, and people have developed, uh, I think maybe more than at least more than thirty uh, different formats of recom uh, of uh, by specific antibodies, and all of which can, are um, expressed using a recombinant expression platform. So, uh, so far we have worked on um, 
maybe over 10 different uh, formats of recombinant uh, by specific antibodies, you know, with different, uh, uh, with uh, some, with, for some formats, we do get a uh, very good success rate. And here showcases a, uh, uh, a customer by specific antibody expression projects that we uh, conducted earlier. Uh, so basically, the target antibody was a uh, by specific antibody that is that was uh, formulated by uh, connecting the fab region of two antibodies uh, to the constant region, and the, the constant region uh, contains a uh, knobs and holes design. And we expressed these um, uh, we expressed this antibody in the HEC two ninety three system, uh, and then. Uh, for the for the purific, uh, I think one major char challenge in this project is to obtain a, a high purity antibody, both in terms of SDS page and uh, as you can see, we uh, used several different uh, different steps in order to um, order to uh, to remove the uh, oligomers, uh, so so that we can uh, you know achieve this. Uh, relatively high purity batch. So um, we have some experience in terms of uh, the purification of such antibodies. And another interesting platform that we have is that uh, we constantly uh, make recombinant IgMs. So IgMs, as you know, are these large molecules that can either presented in the format of a pentamer or a hexamer. Um, de uh, which depends on whether it has the J chain or not. So we have actually uh, formulated two different methods in terms of uh, in terms of uh, making a pentamer. Um, so both methods show good purity antibody uh, in the in the correct uh, oligomeric, uh, oligomeric status. And for the hexamer, uh, it's relatively easier, so uh, we don't have to worry about the J chain. Uh, so the so the IgMs can be made into a hexamer that has a, a high purity and a correct uh, oligomeric state, uh, status. Uh, the purification of IgMs could be a little trickier um, because, um, uh, uh, because you know, normally uh, the protein A and protein G chromatography uh, might not be suitable for such uh, large molecules. So uh, we have uh, advised two different approaches. So if the IgM has a kappa light chain, uh, then we would first to use a protein L to capture the uh, to capture the antibody and then use a uh, uh, gel filtration method in order to remove the um, to remove the monomers and to enrich the uh, oli oligomer. Uh, and for other uh, IgM antibodies, if it doesn't have a kappa light chain, uh, then we treat this antibody as a uh, recombinant protein. So basically we use uh, either uh, a combination of ion exchange and gel filtration and uh, other chromatography methods to uh, to achieve its purification. So last but not least, um, we also because we have uh, we also have a uh, this so-called high throughput expression plat platform. Uh, so this platform is uh, suitable to produce IgG type of antibody as well as VHH FZ fusion proteins and some other uh, virus proteins that. Uh, no, that can also be produced using uh, the system. So basically what happens is we, um, once we obtain an antibody library or protein sequence library, um, we have a high throughput primer design synthesized system to acquire a primer library, which is then converted into expression vectors. And then we use a, uh, a array of shaker flasks uh, containing the HEC-293 cells uh, to produce these antibodies and or proteins. And then use one step purification, usually give us uh, the, the protein or antibody that we need, and then we can perform uh, characterizations and decide which ones to uh, go on and uh, to, to scale up. So here I listed two examples. Uh, the first one is we created the library of about 600 antibodies from a uh, uh, covalent uh, COVID 19 patient, uh, the B cells from. Uh, uh, the COVID-19 patients, and then we extrapolated the, se uh, the sequence, uh, created this library, and among which 14 of these antibodies showed good neutralization activity, and then we performed the scale-up, and I think uh, these antibodies have been used for uh, structural studies and animal studies. 
And earlier, we also performed a uh, VHH library preparation, um, which contains 74 antibodies. Uh, we have a 100. We had a 100% success rate. Uh, all the antibodies are uh, produced in HEC 293. They were had larger than 90% of purity, as well as about a 30 mg per mil, uh, 30 milligram per liter yield. So yeah, this, so this uh, high throughput system is quite robust in producing uh, these uh, these types of antibodies, so that they can be used to um, help create an antibody library to screen for the uh, most suitable candidate for your work. Uh, so to, um, <clears throat> so this is uh, basically a quick summary, and I think we are running out of time here. Uh, so I would like to uh, thank you for your time, and if you have any questions. Um, please reach, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, and, and again, thank you for your time and I hope you have all have a nice day.